development. That's the opposite of good medical practice. A recent study implied that puberty blockers reduce the risk of suicide. I analyzed the full text of that study and learned that those who received puberty blockers were actually twice as likely to have had a suicide attempt that resulted in hospitalization in the last 12 months. Neither puberty blockers nor cross-sex hormones have been approved by the Food and Drug Administration for gender dysphoria. This means that they have not been proven to be safe and effective for this purpose. Meanwhile, one major study reported on biological females receiving double mastectomies as young as age 13. What we are witnessing is a vast medical experiment upon vulnerable children. Supporters of these procedures, as you have heard, sometimes claim that they are evidence-based. This is misleading at best. I analyzed the Endocrine Society's guidelines for these procedures. All but one of 24 guidelines relevant to minors were supported by no evidence or by evidence of low or very low quality. Performing these gender transition procedures on minors violates the primary principle of medical ethics. First, do no harm. Please protect the vulnerable children of Alabama by supporting this bill. Thank you, sir.